Good morning students. I hope you might have gone through the last video and understood the concept of photosynthesis. Green plants make their food by this process, hence called autotrophs and the mode of nutrition is called autotrophic nutrition. Today I will teach you about other modes of nutrition or heterotropic nutrition in plants. There are certain plants which cannot synthesize their own food as they do not have chlorophyll or they do not get the appropriate nutrient for their growth. These plants depend on other organisms for food and are called heterotrophs. They therefore exhibit he heterotropic mode of nutrition. Heterotropic plants are further divided into the following categories. Parasitic plants or parasite, saprophytic plants or saprotrophs, insectivorous plants or insectivores, symbiotic plants or they share symbiotic relationship. To begin with, parasites. A parasite is an organism that lives in or on another organism and derives nutrients from it. The organisms from which a parasite derives its nutrients is called the host. For example, cascata, amarbel and another example is mistletoe. You can see the picture of cascata here. A cascata is a leafless and rootless plant. It entangles around the host plant and derives food from it. Since it deprives the host of valuable nutrient, it is called a parasite. Now it is saprotroph. To understand this, let us take a piece of bread and moisten it with water. Leave it in a dark and damp place for a few days. You will observe the growth of white, green or brown thread like structures on the surface of the bread. This growth is a fungus called bread mold. It is a saprophyte. They have a different mode of nutrition. These organisms release digestive juices in onto the dead or decaying matter and convert into a liquid form. Then they absorb nutrients from it. This mode of nutrition in which organisms take in nutrition in solution form from dead and decaying matter is called saprotrophic nutrition. Plants which use saprotrophic mode of nutrition are called saprotrophs. Saprotrophs are those organisms which cannot make their own food and obtain the nutrition from dead and decaying plants and animal matters. Example, fungi like bread mold and mushrooms. So bread mold you can see and mushrooms. That you might have seen so being sold in vegetable market and also you might have enjoyed as a delicacy. Fungi also grow on pickles, leather, clothes and other articles that are left in hot and humid weather for long time or during the rainy season. The fungal spores are present in the air. When they find a suitable substratum, they land on it and grow. Insectivorous plants. There are few plants which can trap insects and digest them. These are called insectivorous plants. So you can see the definition. There are some plants which feed on insects and such plants are called insectivorous plants or insectivores. They trap insects with the help of their modified leaves. For example, pitcher plant and Venus flytrap. In a pitcher plant, as you can see the picture, each leaf is modified into a pitcher like structure with a lid on the top. Here is present inside the pitcher. When an insect sits on the pitcher, the lid closes to trap the insect. It gets the insect gets entangled in the hair of the pitcher and is killed by the digestive juices secreted inside the pitcher. This is a diagram of Venus flytrap. You can see 
that each leaf consists of two lobes the inner surface is reddish in color and it has stiff hair it is reddish to attract insects and as the insect sits on it or touches the hair the lobe closes together to trap it you can see that these plants look green in color hence they carry out photosynthesis then why does it feed on insect it does so because the soil in which these plants grow is deficient in certain nutrients these plants eat insects to fulfill their nutrient requirements the last about the symbiotic plants or symbiotic relationship some organisms live together for mutual benefit and share shelter and nutrients this is called symbiotic relationship for example lichens are symbionts consisting of a fungus and an alga that cooperate with each other to meet their food requirement you can see a fungus and a alga a alga is a autotroph that can prepare its own food a fungus is is a saprotroph that depend on dead and decaying organisms for nutrition this association is very important for these plants because the fungus provides mineral and water to the alga the alga supplies the fungus with food that it manufactures so dear students i hope you might have stand, understood this video please go through the chapter thoroughly any doubt please clear through extra marks that's all for today thank you